Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time for Eight in a Car After Having Too Much Coffee! I have a very serious question for you, and I think I've asked you before. When is the last time you changed your password? When is the actual last time that you've changed your password? Do you have different passwords for all of your accounts online? Are they complex passwords? Are they have enough characters in them that they are, are really, at least, I don't know. What I'm gonna say is, the longer your password, the better. That is why you should have in mind that it should be a password phrase and not just a password. Write out an entire sentence. Don't put the spaces in it. It will be much harder to guess. Or if it's just nonsense words that somehow you can keep together in your mind, that it becomes a password phrase in your mind. Great. Grand. Wonderful. If you don't think any of this is important, I, I pity you. I honestly do at this point. These are things that should concern you if you want to be able to do anything online. I don't know why, like, I guess this is the same frustration that doctors have in their profession of, well, if you stop smoking, you wouldn't have any of these problems. You should probably just stop smoking. These are the woes of somebody that works within IT. Also, if anybody needs you, like, to pay them money with any type of urgency, unless it's, like, your landlord collecting their rent, and it's normally done over email, that's probably a phishing scheme! A telltale sign of a phishing scheme is, well, you have to act today, you have to do this right now. Also, look at the URL. You know what I mean when I say URL, right? Universal Resource Locator. That's not going to make a lot of sense, but the URL is the link that you click on. Look at where it's going. You can hover over it with your mouse, and it'll probably tell you where it's going. Does it feel like I've dealt with something today that had to do with computer security? Does it seem I'm worked up over something about computer security because of what I've had to deal with today? I actually didn't. I, it, it's just because it's National Security, or it's Computer Security Day. I didn't actually have to deal with an issue today. I, I just, I am passionate about it, obviously. But no, it's just National Security Day. I, so, but that, that, despite the fact that I'm trying to make a joke now, has no levity on the fact that it is a serious issue and that I am passionate about it. So, go change your passwords. It'll take, like, 20 minutes probably. Use a password manager. I, I can even recommend that you use a password manager, but also, and this is a little known secret, and I feel like people, like, had it drilled in their heads, well, you shouldn't write them down. No, I am actually saying you should probably write them down. Lock them in a desk drawer. Okay, I've said my piece. It's National Computer Security Day, everyone. It's a few other things as well. Like, it's Moose Day. Now, when I say it's Moose Day, do you immediately think of the large animal with antlers? I would have, but I saw the spelling of the moose. No, we're talking like chocolate moose, or moose if you're a friend. Uh, that's not, no, that, never mind. Anyway, it's the dessert. This is the food of the day. It's just moose. I don't know how to go just order moose from a place. Maybe a bakery. Would a bakery, if I walked into a bakery right now, hello, sir, I would like moose. Not chocolate, not vanilla, not out of flavoring. I just want moose. Can I order just moose? I don't know if I can. Maybe that's just a, an experiment that should be done. 
It is also Cities for Life Day. This is basically the cities that have abolished the death penalty in their uh, criminal systems. Uh, and it is also Mason Jar Day. Not to be confused with the brand Ball, who also made jars. But that company no longer actually makes jars. They went on to, like, do human interfacing. Like, so, I think it was the one that the race car driver that was injured, like, they made it so his, like, they more or less hooked his brain up to a machine. Like, that's what the ball company is doing now. They also made jars. But it's Mason Jar Day. Anyway, that's where this tangent has gone. I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope everybody is healthy. Stay healthy in that sense. It's cold, wet, and rainy. It's not as cold, but it's wet and rainy. So drive safely. We'll catch you on the flip side. We'll... Goodbye, everybody. Change your password.